Elizabeth Montgomery was an American actress who is best known for playing Samantha on the popular sitcom Bewitched. In this video, we will share with you 10 little known secrets about Elizabeth Montgomery. She was politically active. Throughout her entire life, Montgomery was outspoken about her political beliefs. She considered herself a liberal, and she frequently donated to political causes. She was very vocal about her beliefs about women's rights, AIDS, and gay rights. She was a Grand Marshal at the 1992 Los Angeles Gay Pride Parade. She was also critical of the Vietnam War. In the 1960s, she received death threats for speaking against drug abuse and race rioting. Her political activism didn't end there. She also narrated two political documentaries which criticized Americans' foreign policy. She almost starred in a Hitchcock movie. Elizabeth Montgomery started her career by starring in live series shows. Some of the shows she starred in were The Twilight Zone, The Eleventh Hour, and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Hitchcock was so impressed by her performance on his show that he asked her to star in his movie, Marnie, alongside Sean Connery. Montgomery, who was excited about doing a movie with Hitchcock, had other commitments at the time, because of which she had to refuse the role. It was eventually taken by Diane Baker. She got her big break soon after that when Bewitch aired on television and became the highest rated series for the network it aired on. Samantha. Most people don't remember this, but the name Samantha was fairly rare before the 60s. It's a biblical name that originated in America in the 18th century, but only became popular thanks to Elizabeth Montgomery's beloved character Samantha on the show Bewitched, which lasted eight seasons. This clearly means she had a huge influence on the American society in the 60s. The name has ranked in the top 100 names since 1976, so if your name is Samantha, you have Elizabeth Montgomery to thank for that. The Bewitched Producer Elizabeth Montgomery was married to William Asher, the producer of the show Bewitched. They were married for all eight years the show ran. They had plans to make a ninth season of the show, but because of difficulties in the relationship, they decided to separate. They ran into a lot of problems after their separation because the ninth season was already in talks, but they found it impossible to work together on the show. To satisfy the conditions of the network they were working with, they decided to make a half-hour sitcom called The Paul Lynn Show, but it only lasted for one year. Japanese commercials. In the early 1980s, after the show Bewitched ended, Elizabeth Montgomery decided to take a break from Hollywood. She starred in some Japanese commercials about chocolate biscuits and cookies by the company Lottie Corp. She continued to do these Japanese commercials for some time because they paid really well, and she didn't want to go back to Hollywood. Moreover, she enjoyed the respect that was given to her by her Japanese fans. It was well known that Montgomery didn't like Hollywood, mostly because of her father, who was very hard on her growing up. Voice acting. Montgomery was a multi-talented person. She was an actress, singer, and a voiceover artist. Before she died of cancer in 1995, Montgomery voiced a barmaid in Batman, the animated series. The title of the episode was Showdown, and it aired after Montgomery's death. This episode is considered her last work to be seen on television. She also made a cameo appearance as Samantha from Bewitched on the popular kids shows The Flintstones. She did another voice acting role in the 1964 American film Bikini Beach. Her pregnancy. Fans of Bewitched will know that Montgomery's two pregnancies became a part of the show when two new actors were introduced as Tabitha and Adam, Samantha's kids on the show. But how many of you know that she was also pregnant during the early years of the show? She got pregnant with her husband, William Asher, thrice. If you watch the first season of the show, you'll notice that she wore very loose clothing, clearly to keep the viewers from learning about her pregnancy. Pandora Spox Elizabeth Montgomery is mostly famous for her role as Samantha on Bewitched, but that wasn't the only character she played on the show. If you watch a show and squint your eyes really hard, you'll realize that Samantha's cousin Serena bears an uncanny resemblance to Montgomery. That's because they were both played by the same actress. For her role of Serena, Montgomery had to wear a black wig, which probably is why most people weren't able to recognize her. In the credits of the show, Serena was credited as Pandora Spox. Playing two characters with opposite personalities is no easy task, so these roles serve as a testament to Montgomery's great acting skills. Her father Montgomery played a sweet and adorable character on Bewitched, but her real life was a complete mess. Her parents divorced when she was a teenager, and she moved in with her father, Robert Montgomery, who was also a successful Hollywood actor. Her relationship with her father wasn't a happy one. He was her biggest critic, probably because he was unhappy about her success, as he felt it eclipsed his own. She even tried to get her father to play, a role of Samantha's father in the show, but he refused. She never recovered from the pain her father gave her, and it affected her other relationships as well. She married four times. 
Her marriage with the producer of Bewitch was probably the most stable relationship of her life. Because of all the trouble her father gave her, she developed a habit of falling in love with guys who were older than her and didn't treat her well. Her second husband, Gig Young, had mental issues and he ended up committing a murder-suicide after marrying his fifth wife. After divorcing Young, Montgomery married the producer of Bewitched. They remained married for over 10 years, but they separated after it was discovered that Montgomery was having an affair with the director Richard Michaels. She married her fourth husband, Robert Foxworth, in 1993, two years before her death. Elizabeth Montgomery was a great actress who lived a very troubled life. Which role of hers do you like the most? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and share this video with your friends so they can know more about Montgomery's life too.